The carpet beetle is a common pest found in homes around the world, and if left unchecked, it can cause some serious damage. Young beetles and larvae are the main culprits and feed on natural fibers like leather, silk, wool, and pet hair. However, adult carpet beetles don't feed on fabric, they prefer plants, pollen, and flowers. But you need to look out for these pesky adults because if they are seen inside the house, it means they've laid eggs somewhere. These beetles are attracted to light, so always check for eggs around windows and bulbs. Carpet Beetle Facts Three of the most common carpet beetles are the black, varied, and furniture carpet beetles. While these bugs can't bite you, they can still make you sick, they can cross-contaminate human foods, which is a major health concern. Carpet beetle larvae can live for several weeks without feeding but will move around the house in search of food. Carpet beetle species, types, and scientific name. The most common carpet beetles are Black carpet beetle Varied carpet beetle Furniture carpet beetle Appearance, how to identify the carpet beetle. The appearance of these beetles will vary depending on the species. So, below is a description of the three most common types. Black carpet beetles. These beetles are dark brown or black, with bullet-shaped bodies and brown antennae and legs. Their larvae are covered in golden brown hair, and they are approximately half an inch in length. Varied carpet beetle. The varied carpet beetle measures about 0.08 to 0.11 inches long. They have a splotchy appearance because of the brown, white, and yellow spots covering their elytra. In addition, their larvae are covered in bristly hair and grow between 0.15 to 0.19 inches long. Furniture carp Carpet Beetle the furniture carpet beetle measures about 0.08 to 0.14 inches long and is covered in black, yellow, and white scales on the back with yellow scales on its legs. While their color patterns vary, these beetles are easily identifiable when examining them under a hand lens. They will have a round body with oval scales, while other species have long and narrow scales. Habitat, where to find the carpet beetle? Carpet beetles live in woodlands, forests, and urban areas. Adults are attracted to flowers, so it's common to see them in gardens. Therefore, many of these beetles fly into houses when moving from one flower to another in search of nectar. Additionally, they can find their way into homes through gaps in the windows, under door frames, openings through utility lines, and cracks in the siding. They prefer laying their eggs in dark, quiet places because larvae will stay hidden to avoid predators. Therefore, infestations usually originate from the attic or other dark rooms in the home. Diet, what do carpet beetles eat? Carpet beetles eat different animal and plant-based products, depending on what stage of their life cycle they are in, these foods include pollen, flour, wool, and fur. Adults will feed on pollen and nectar, but if they accidentally fly into your home, they will find other resources to consume, like potpourri, pollen, flowers, and nectar. Larvae that hatch inside a home will feed on various animal products, which can be extremely damaging. Therefore, they are drawn to foods like wool, silk, feathers, spices, felt, Cereal Flower Animals hide Leather Noodles Dead insects Bird nests Animal fur Cornmeal Pet fur Dog food Carpet beetle life cycle Every species of carpet beetle goes through a complete metamorphosis from egg, larval, and pupal stages before fully maturing into adults. In general, these beetles can develop for generations each, each year. However, the black carpet beetle only develops one. The life cycle of these beetles varies from two months to several years, depending on the available food source. Larvae Carpet beetles start off as larvae which emerge from eggs that females lay. 
They prefer to lay their eggs indoors, but also use mice, insects, or bird nests. These bugs mate near light sources, and females can lay over 100 eggs at once, which take around 7 to 35 days to hatch into larvae that can live for several weeks without food. Poopy and adults. Larvae start to pupate after 2 to 3 months. During this stage, these beetles develop wrapped in a skin for around 20 days before transforming into adults. They generally pupate on or near food sources they were feeding on during their larval stage. The length of the pupal stage varies, but adults typically emerge once the temperature rises. The egg, larval, and pupae stages can last from 9 months to 2 years, but adults only live for a few weeks. Prevention – How to get rid of carpet beetle There are several ways to prevent or eliminate carpet beetles, which include Vacuuming Vacuum your home regularly because the larvae feed on debris in carpets, like hair, pet fur, dead insects, and dead skin. So, when you vacuum frequently, there is less food available for these pests. Additionally, you can also vacuum up any eggs or larvae. Always pay special attention to any carpet along skirting boards. Steam clean. Steam cleaning hard surfaces will remove beetles and eggs because of the excessive heat and moisture. Vinegar Keeping surfaces clean with vinegar definitely prevents a carpet beetle infestation. Ensure to wipe down surfaces, drawers, shelves, windowsills, and hangers with vinegar. This will remove any food residue or dirt, making it almost impossible for larvae to thrive. Clean, clean, clean you can use any household cleaner of choice to thoroughly wipe down furniture and furnishings regularly. This will remove any larvae or debris. However, be cautious of pesticides because many of them are toxic to you and your pets. When it comes to infected clothes, bedding, or curtains, all you have to do is throw them in the washing machine and set it to a high temperature, which will kill the larvae. First, however, check the labels on each item to ensure they are washing machine friendly. Keep an eye on your plants. Inspect your houseplants while you are watering them and wipe off anything that shouldn't be on them. This is highly important the first time you bring the plants indoors. Seal off gaps. As carpet beetles enter your home through the tiniest cracks, this might not be the most viable option, but it's worth a try. Seal any gaps around windows and doors. Call in the big guns. If the infestation is too big, or you can't seem to locate the larvae, it's best to call the professionals. They will be able to give you advice or come over and take care of it for you. Keep your food secure. There is nothing worse than opening up a packet of pasta or flour, and there are insects inside. Unfortunately, carpet beetles will find their way into your dry food, so it's best to keep these items in airtight containers.